<laughs> so, President, huh? Who'd have thought? You, the Home Secretary, is more improbable, given your recreational habits. <laughs> I didn't inhale honest. They put the submarine commander on television. Yeah, I saw, as you feared. Uh, your military do seem to have a mind of their own right now. I want peace. I came here for peace, Andrew. Believe me. My security services have asked me to give you this, as well as the book. It contains a code structure for communication between us. Home Secretary, I'm from the British security team. We have a situation in the hotel. Could you accompany me to the roof, please, where the helicopter's waiting? Both assets secure and proceeding to the roof area, Alpha Leo. Roz, the helicopter's been sabotaged. It can't take off. We'll get another one. It's blocking the roof. Nothing can land. Take both assets to conference room one. We'll meet you there and proceed to the lobby. We've got to get them out through the lobby. Yeah, they're going to try, but if, if Price and his people are still in there, that's very dangerous. So is a massive bomb that's about to bring the roof down. Where are Roz and Lucas? Still in there. But we're about to cut comms and mobile contact so that Nightingale can't remote detonate. Mobiles are down. They suspect something. They heading out, Mikey? Affirmative. OK, let's meet and intercept. That's a price, CIA. We're going to take them out through the lobby. Lobby's blocked because of a security alert. We need to head to the north stairwell now. These men are under my protection. We just have a word, sir. OK, gentlemen, British security have approved my plan. Now, we're going to take you somewhere secure. Uh, what's going on? There's a security situation in the hotel, sir. My orders are to personally ensure you're escorted to safety. No, I, uh, I need to see Sir Harry Pierce now. Let me get you to safety first, sir. He sent the Home Secretary in there, Ruth, to talk to Madassa if he's innocent. They'll get him out. You listen to me. I'm the British Home Secretary, and I insist that you let me speak to Sir Harry Pierce right now. Well, I'm afraid the mobile systems are down due to the security situation. What is this situation that you keep talking about? I can't address that right now. My men are securing the lobby. I'm going to leave you guys here until we're sure we don't have another in Mumbai on our hands. But you're not listening to me. I'm not staying here. Either you let me speak to... <laughs> Let's go. 